What up, what up, what up? Double M's, it's your boy Keith. And it's your girl Mandy. Ew, ew. And we back. With another video, video, video. Yes. So we had in that. Uh, we have some barbecue short ribs. Mm. Some uh, uh, cabbage. Some cabbage, green. And the purple cabbage, I had some left. Y'all remember that smoothie? Had some left, so went ahead. Remember, you utilize what you got. Hey. And we got some uh, corn, corn casserole. Corn, corn casserole, cornbread muffins. muffins. All right. And I made those, if I might add. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. You know. Just say I'm cooked, but you don't do that, buddy. Mm, she could. All right, so that um, it, it looked pretty good for quick fasting in the hurry. Uh, but we did, nice. but nice. we did, we did, we did pretty good. All right. So what we gonna do? Get in this blessing session. Yeah. Most loving and gracious Father, thank you once again for allowing our friends and loved ones to come in and join us. We thank you for them. We pray, oh Heavenly Father, for this food that you've blessed us with, for the nourishment of our body. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Oh, here we go, y'all. Mm -hmm. Let me get some of this cabbage. I love my veggies, y'all. This cabbage looks so good. He got bacon in it. Mm. Real bacon. Y'all not bacon bits. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to smoke meat, so I had to use a little bit of bacon. Mm -hmm. And we drinking on some peach tea, y'all. Mm -hmm. We love a little peach one. That's our little favorite one. So I'm gonna show you a little piece of this meat, y'all. If y'all can see that, the glaze on there. Okay. Hey boy, you know what he doing. Yeah, my baby cooked this meat, y'all. Okay. He, he know how to do this thing. He's seasoned it good, too. They ain't competition style, but they good. I can't get my fork and it's so glazy. Super glazed up. Give me a cornbread muffin. And that's the cornbread muffins. Corn casserole, y'all. Yeah, corn casserole. You corn know, with the sour meat. cream in there, the cream of wheat. I mean, not cream of wheat. The cream corn, the regular corn, the butter. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Corn casserole, another get old. The cabbage is so good. I took a bite already, y'all. Uh. I had to cook it quick, y'all, so I didn't use a crock pot or regular thing. Your boy used a wok. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I used a wok real quick. <laughs> y'all so what y'all eating on mm -hmm. what 
chocolate for dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. I love cabbage. Cabbage, collard greens. I can eat every day of the week. I'm going to see him back to you. Oh. Let me do this now. Because mm, uh, I'll forget Miss Emma. <laughs> hey, how you doing, sugar? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Miss Emma. Montgomery family channel. Mm. We love you, sugar. We love you. Yes, I we do, Miss Emma. I, I told y'all I was going to shot your eye. That's right. That's our girl. She been with us since day one now. Got to give her props. When the day one subby, y'all. Oh snap! <laughs> Prissy, I forgot your plate. <laughs> he saw Prissy. He was my bad. Plate. Hey, Ray, Ray, I'm sorry, dog. <laughs> Y'all can have some off my plate. Um, my bad. We was in here. We were trying to make the camera work and do stuff. I forgot the extra plate, and I said I was gonna put an extra plate right there on the side. Two bees are trying to set up, y'all. They know it's real, but they know they was hitting to eat some of this good food. They already know. They already know. Shout out to our Epic Empire family, y'all. If y'all don't know about Epic Empire family, you're new to the channel, make sure you check the description box below. That's gonna be PR Gang, Gang, Gang. TM Lee TV, Kia Cam, the fam. All right. Make sure you check them out. They got some good content. Mm -hmm. Kia and Cam and the fam. Pops just had a birthday. Sure did. Happy birthday to him again. He was on live. On the live. Mm -hmm. Beautiful people, y'all. Beautiful mm -hmm. people. Seagulls and, and, and Scotch. Mm -hmm. Seagulls and scotch is coming, brother. Seagulls. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't smoke, but I'll hold one. Seagulls <laughs> mm -hmm. and scotch. He fancy. He fancy. <laughs> <laughs> And I was watching um, our family, TNL TV. That girl did the um, donuts review. You know, when we did it, we didn't know they had a donuts here in Orlando. We don't have one in Orlando, we have one in Cassini. We didn't even know that. Man, we found it out. <laughs> we rolled way over there <laughs> for them donuts. <laughs> So I know that girls enjoy them donuts because we keep <laughs> rolling over there again <laughs> to get donuts. <laughs> and the Fritz family loved the donuts too because Dale was like, <laughs> Dale, which one was Dale's favorite? I think it was like the apple crisp. Me and Jazz, we, we like the um the glaze, the regular glaze was good. We also like the maple bacon, but the glaze was like really good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And that French, the, which, which one they had? A French toast on um, donut too? Oh, when we went down, we Ooh, got a French toast. Oh, French toast on that from Duck Donut, yeah. Baby, you don't know what you're missing. Mm -mm. I'm gonna stick with the maple bacon, though. You already know you love bacon. My yeah. love bacon, y'all. You Maybe. heard what Dale said about that bacon. Keep me having kids. <laughs> my, my, just fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Keys and I, we're not in a rush to have children or anything like that. 
we're just enjoying each other right now. You know, if it happened, it happened. You know, whatever God got it, got in store for us, we accept. You know, we really do. We're just enjoying the journey right now. Enjoying each other, learning each other every day. You know, just, just building our marriage up. I think that's what's important when you, um, you know, some people feel like, oh, I got to have a marriage, got to have the house in a certain amount of time, I got to have the kids in a certain amount of time. You can't put time limits on yourself. You know what I'm saying? You just got to grind till you get there and enjoy the journey. If you get caught up in uh, materialism and stuff and things like that, you can never enjoy the journey. And I say all that because I'm thinking about, you know, Hurricane Michael and what it has done to our families, you know, especially my family because, you know, I'm from Panama City, Florida, where, you know, Hurricane Michael came through and did a lot, a lot of damage. And to hear my sister crying and to hear so many people, you know, hurt and devastated over the loss of a lot of, you know, things, the one thing we have to appreciate that we still have is our life. You know, thank God we're still here and we, you know, we're able to rebuild. You know, we can always get materialist things again. But, you know, your life, that's the one thing you can't need. Priest, if he was talking about that, and it's true, y'all. You know, you can't, you can't get that back, you know? You know, even me and Trinice was talking about that. You know, just your life. You, you have to be grateful for your life and just really just, you know, be happy you're still here. That's important. That's important. So, all that material stuff, it'll be rebuilt. You might have to start a life somewhere else for right now, just to get your kids back in school and get them acclimated back to some type of norm. Mm -hmm. But things will be okay again, won't they, baby? Mm -hmm. I'm sweat with big stuff. All the small stuff. Mm -hmm. All the things in between. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You really can't. You really can't be home. You gotta be thankful, grateful, and you gotta make good decisions in life. You know, good decisions, it's, it's so important to make good decisions because you may not have a lot, but if you know how to make good decisions, you can get yourself over in, through any obstacle. I'm telling you. Anything, man, I'm telling you. Just having a positive mindset, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and don't don't not letting like she talking about your mind. Don't let your mind over overwhelm you. That's right. You're gonna be control because your mind can take you a lot of places, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's up to you to control that thinking. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything. You know, that's what I was even telling my family, you know, during this time. It's, it's all about making good decisions. And um, I think that's the I one thing. Sauce, my hand. <laughs> I know, right? Slippery. That was just, it's really glazed up, really, really good, y'all. It is. Um, that's one thing I give my family, too, that I think they really helped them with, you know, dealing with Michael and how they've been so strong through it all is just basically making good decisions, you know? You know, my mom, them, they went and got generators. Um, my mom always believed in a gas stove from day one. <laughs> mm -hmm. She ain't never been about that electric life. She's always been about gas. And so she was able to cook. You know, she cooked up some steaks. And I think made some baked beans and things like that. Um, Sam's Club opened back up. So they were able to go to Sam's Club. They had when I heard my mom speaking on the phone, I said, hey, this is where I get it from. This is why I'm built so tough. This is why I'm like I am. You know, I might have a moment where I break down and I get emotional, but at the end of the day, I'm strong. I am strong. I'm telling y'all, I don't, I don't been through some stuff, but I've been resilient and relentless in my comeback. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I'm telling you, because it, it, it is for another story time, but I'm telling you like the, my mom, she, she gives me the inspiration and the hope that I can always survive. Even when she leaves this earth, I'm going to know that I have the strength to do anything, be anything, get anywhere I want to get, and go anywhere I want to go because of mm -hmm. what she's taught me and, and her example of a strong woman. You know what I'm saying? 
I can't be weak and worn down. I have to make my own decisions and I have to make good decisions. You know what I'm saying? I have to. I have to because I was taught that. You know, I have to know how to prioritize life. I'm a very organized person. And I think that's what bring me and Key so close together because we're both on the same page with that. Mm. My husband's not a big spender. I'm not a big spender. If there is something nice that we want, okay, we say, hey, we're going to get that. We're going to get that when it's appropriate for us to get that. We ain't out here trying to be like the Jones, the Johnsons, nobody. All thing we can be is Mandy and Keys at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Kudos to those who can and who got it like that. Hey, more power to you. You know what I'm saying? But if a lot of us people out here who are working jobs and paying bills every day really understood the value of a dollar the way the rich people do, even they not out here blowing money like that. You know what I'm saying? Even they have a time frame and a goal they put on themselves to get certain things and obtain certain materials and things like that. You know, so I just I just really think it's really beautiful that the people that went through Hurricane Michael are making good decisions and are thinking smart because some people get that theme of money and we already know. They make all these income tax time and it's not that time. This is a time to rebuild and really make good decisions so that whatever kind of living conditions you were in before, you can come out in a better situation now. Yeah, and plan for next time. And plan for next know. time, you never know. Mm-hmm. It's so true. It's so true, y'all. So I just I just think it's, it's really it's really oh, beautiful I, to see that. <laughs> excuse me. Uh, it's human, baby. You cute, gotta burp. You gotta burp. You gotta burp now. I think that's, uh, we might be some kids. <laughs> we all gotta burp, baby. Some of us do it on camera, some of us do it off camera, some of us, it don't matter. It is what it is. It's a, it's a natural human thing. You, Bourbon is human. You're going to burp. Get, I just get over let people. you know. I let you know the food good. Hey, that part. <laughs> I do agree with that. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's like, I'm just so, I'm just so, you know, happy to see some of you be strong. You know, I know people cried, people were hurt, and it is a devastating thing, but I'm just happy to see so many people making good decisions in this Hurricane Michael and uh, really uh, working towards, you know, getting themselves back organized, situated, and rebuilding their homes, rebuilding, you know, the, you know, rebuilding some type of norm for their family. I think that is such a beautiful thing. Because I'm telling you, one wrong decision can make, make Hurricane Michael even worse, you know? You go get the FEMA money, the FEMA funds they're giving you, and you do the wrong thing with them, and you still not have nowhere to stay in the next six months or no stability. You know, it can happen. So I'm just happy that people are making the right decisions or relocating and starting a new life for themselves and getting themselves jobs in new places. And I'm just happy people are making those types of decisions and really um, focusing on that and really making sure they have some type of norm and stabilization for their children because the kids need it. You know, they need it. So this is really good. Really, really good. I've seen an outpour of support for the people of Hurricane Michael, which is awesome. And we were going to go there too to help, you know, because we wanted to help as much as we could. Yeah. And um, I know they weren't letting people in the city, though. My mom said they weren't letting people in, but yeah. they were um, letting people out. But I think they're now letting people in. So the next time Keys and I have a, a, t a time off, we're going to go over there and just help. Because my brother, he wanted to go too. He wanted to go over there and help out. And we went all right together and just go over there, you know, help clean the yards, help get the grill, whatever we can get up by hand, we're going to do it, you know? Just to show support and show my mama that we there for her, we love her, we appreciate her, and that you know you're not in this alone. That you're not in this alone. I know she's strong and she don't need nobody or nothing, but still gonna be there for you anyway. Cause you're my mama. <laughs> and anybody else that we're gonna be there for them too. You know, that's how we feel. And we we've been wanting to do something for people for a long time anyway. Like, you know, as far as helping kids get, you know, supplies or going back to school. We've been wanting to do some type of charitable um, event and things like that. So, you know, any way Muslim marriage can help and pour out love, support, and care for others, we're going to do it. Because sometimes, you know, it ain't even what you can do monetary people. Sometimes it's what you can do people as far as just giving them a kind word mm -hmm. or a hug. Mm -hmm. or Just an you know, encouragement. Yeah, just encouragement. You know, just to let people know that, hey, we're here for you. We love you. We care about you. You know, we're sorry this happened to you, you know, but it, this is not the end of the world. You know, you still got your life. You still got your future ahead of you. And guess what? We will, we will rebuild. <laughs> we'll rebuild a bigger and better city. That's what we're going to do. A better city. You know? That's what they need. Mm -hmm. They do. And they need that anyway. 
they needed a lot of those old buildings needed to come down and be replenished and, and remodeled anyway. And you know, sometimes it's sad that it takes things like this to happen for people to start looking at it like that. Okay, the rebuilding process, the restructuring of the town. It needs it though. It needs a facelift. The beach had got one, but in town hadn't got anything. So I'm happy that, you know, that it's, I'm, I'm, I'm not happy that it had to happen like this, but I am happy that a remodeling is coming to Panama City, the town itself, because it did look run down. You know, very small town, like it wasn't getting any attention or any, um, mm -hmm. anything. I think the newest things I saw come through was the um, Cracker Barrel and Chick-fil-A. You know, it, it needed more than that. A lot of those buildings need to be replenished and, um, you know, restructured. So it's good there's going to be some new stuff coming in town. Get people homes will get, you know, you know, fixed up really nice and they'll have somewhere, you know, to stay. That will keep them comfortable and they can be proud to come home to. That's a beautiful thing. So I'm happy about that. That's our time, family. Yeah, we just wanted to get on here and talk about, you know, just different things. I mean, I know it was all over the place in the conversation, but I definitely want to touch on Hurricane Michael because it hit close to home for me. It's my hometown, Panama City, and my family's there. And, um, you know, like I said, it's only me here in Orlando, me, hubby, and his, his family, and my brother. So, in my family, everybody's in Panama City, so I just my heart goes out to them, and I'm hoping to see them really soon. Just to check on everybody, let everybody know, hey, we love you, and we're here for you. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to the Double M Kingdom. We welcome you, we welcome you, we love you, we love you. And, like I said, don't ever forget to check out my family at the Empire. If you're in the description box below, mm -hmm. check them out, check them out, check them out, check them out. Don't forget, don't forget that. And what else, baby? And don't forget to hit that what? Notification bell. Bing! <laughs> so you can be notified of all the videos we have in store for But you gotta do that bing better than that now. We be, bing, really? we be binging it out, baby. We bing it out hard. Let's, mm -hmm. let's bing it out hard, baby. Because people, people start to do the bing too, so let's bing out. Let's, <laughs> bing. let's do our bing the right way. <laughs> we gonna do that bing again. <laughs> Listen now, huh? We gonna do that bing again. We need that Muslim marriage bing on that sucker. Hit the notification bell. Bing! That's what we do, baby. That's what we do over here on this channel right here. You feel me? You feel me? We muscle and marriage. Mm. Get that muscle up. I ain't got one, but I'm gonna get it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My husband got enough muscle. Show him the muscle, baby. Make muscle. No, stop. You're doing it. <laughs> Why you want to do a muscle for muscle and marriage? <laughs> Put your arm right in the middle of the screen. Do like this, middle of the screen, baby. <laughs> Bloopers. <laughs> I don't know what that's <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs>